Welcome back to Auto Wilds, everybody. You guys keep pointing out that my incoherent ramblings after the episodes don't make much sense. And you know what? You're right. <laughs> These are just my, my immediate thoughts that I have and they might be wildly wrong. So let's look at the ship lock and what we found out in the last episode, because this is crucial information here. The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. The Numai fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the sun station, the Numai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. So first sun station, then it misfired, and then they investigated the comet. According to a Numai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. But what, what throws me off is that the devices say that this happened 200 and something thousand and 42 years ago. And that means that we are 200 and something thousand and 42 years later that now the sun actually went supernova. And the Numai didn't die by the supernova because they're already dead. So they died, I think. Let's look at the comet. Where's our comet? Raptured core. What did we find first? The gravity cannon. For us, it doesn't do anything but calling the shuttle. What I would need is a lock for the conversations too. I should have made that, but that that would last a long time to make such a thing. I found a Nomai shuttle, almost completely encased in ice. The Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. So the sun station failed, and approximately at the same time the interloper arrived. And then they aborted the sun station which was about to melt away anyways. Or not, because it was so long ago and it only melts now. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. But then they went to the interloper to explore that, because it's a new thing in the solar system. Where it comes from? No idea. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm, while the other two explored the interloper. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. And they're still there, so they died there, obviously. I found the two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. So this is something like, like the singularity, right? There's very dense matter that exploded. The Nomai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, which it did, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. And that is what happened, and so everybody died. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter, while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. Which didn't happen. So, shortly after the solar, the sun station experiment failed, the core ruptured, and everything died. And then somehow, not because we are here. Right? I mean, somehow, life found a way, <laughs> didn't it? Now, problem is that this doesn't connect to anything because it's the end, literally of the Numai universe, or the world they lived within. And we are here now, 200 and something thousand and 42 years later. So we evolved from, from something 
different or, or arrived here too. We do not know that, how, how we came to be. The question now is... Is... This... So the dark bramble thing, which used to be another planet before it got eaten by that plant-like thing. Is this something that got caused by the end of the known solar system? Or known by the Nomai? I mean, we don't know it differently, right? We just know that. And is the disassembly of Brittle Hollow also a cause of that? Or has it been like this the whole time? I mean, it can't be. Because if it would have disassembled every 30 minutes, <laughs> then they couldn't have built their cities. Same goes for the sand column here. How did that happen? Where does the sand come from? Because if the sand covered the whole city every 30 minutes back then, how did they live there? That's impossible. So this is our state of the world that would have been different in times of the Nomai, right? So, yeah. But they wanted to cause the supernova. Why did they want to destroy their own solar system? Or just the sun? But without the sun, the solar system cannot exist. Everything else is what happened before. So they build up their society. Oh wait, no, now that I think of it, the timeline is they followed a signal, right? Which we know now is the planet, the sixth location that the quantum moon belongs to originally. That planet that we don't know emitted a signal that they followed into this solar system because they thought it was intentional and they wanted to find out what it is. Then they crash landed in the solar system on or Dark Bramble somehow caught the vessel. Two escape pods made it out. One onto Brittle Hollow and one onto Ember Twin, where they built their first cities or shelters first and then they became cities. But the third escape pod stayed on Dark Bramble and was caught within this plant-like thing. So Dark Bramble was like that already when they arrived here. And they couldn't get to their ship only until much later when they tried to get the, the cores from the ship to build their black hole forge. Then they pursued the, or tried to pursue the Quantum Moon because they both independently from Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow saw that one of the celestial bodies was jumping locations and that it was sometimes there and sometimes not. So they built all those devices to track the Quantum Moon. Then they reunited when they built up their technology again and found out how to warp about via uh, the White Hole Station. Then they build up all their knowledge about the Quantum Moon, which was now their primary goal to get there. So they built the Tower of Quantum Knowledge and uh, the Tower of Quantum Rules and also explored all uh, the other planets in the solar system and built up their probe cannon, which they shot like millions of times, but it obviously didn't work because they needed more energy. Then parallel to that, they built up the Ash Twin Project, which we don't know of much yet. But we know that it's the central chamber inside Ash Twin that was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. The Nomai planned to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time inter interval. So it only says 22 minutes and that's approximately the time until in our timeline the universe or the sun goes supernova. But the thing is that they live 200 and something thousand and forty two years ago. Maybe they wanted to catapult themselves out onto their home planet or the sixth location 
or they thought if we cannot get there no one will ever so we destroy this whole solar system with everything within because just because we can <laughs> that would be pretty destructive but hey I don't judge so I mean they obviously had in mind that if they do so they're using the statues to come back but if they're already fired at the sun with expecting it to go supernova but it just didn't and they hadn't yet connected to the statues obviously they didn't because otherwise they would be still here in the loop with us which are not apart from Solanum but then this happened and they didn't expect this but why did they not connect to their statues and there was that ritual too right did something happen that disconnected them maybe huh yeah that's that's what we have to find out sorry now I have new ramblings that most probably are completely false so, <laughs> so sorry about that so what should we do we do have two big question marks one of it is one of it is, uh, of course, the Ashton project, which we should do last, uh, the Black Hole Forge, and the other is the vessel. And I think as they needed to get to the core of the ship to build the Black Hole Forge, we should do it in their chronology. So we should find the damn vessel. And I hate that we are going to do that, because I have no idea how. Can I tag something here? I cannot, of course, because we haven't found it yet. The Nomai warped to this solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The Vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. I launched my scout into the seat of the Nomai Crave and took photos of an enormous derelict Nomai ship. So what do we know about how that happens? If I launch my scout, I can take photos. I did. So we do know that the seats are just a second location of where the actual thing is situated within Dark Bramble. So we can get there, we just do not know which, which seed or which pod we should follow, so maybe the most reasonable thing would be to get to the escape pod because with Feldspart it was the case that he was very close to his seed or to his second location, right? If we go to the seed and then shoot our scout in there and then follow our scout's location, the second one, because it should be doubled, then we find the vessel. Oh gosh, I hope that works. That's the only idea I'd have for now. Problem is that we don't have enough time for that whole procedure, right? And did time pass already? good scent didn't drop yet time only starts when we take off so that's good to know Okay, we need our signal scope and we do need the distress beacons and let's get just through there as fast as we can or there. Oh, we should not crash. Yeah, 
Okay, that's the challenge here. Not be eaten and not crash. Which one? That one. Okay. Oh no, fish. Get in there. I hope they don't... Uah! No, not like that. I hope they don't follow. Okay. Think they do? Let's hug the wall. Okay. We are relatively safe here, aren't we? Circles. Ah, it's that one. Okay. Calm down. It's gone. Can't quite focus on it. Ah, there. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Now let's follow the trail. It's there. We're safe here. Okay. Calm down. Up there. Now let's shoot. Can we do it from within the ship? Let's shoot. Ah. One in there. I can't. Oh, nearly. No. <laughs> okay. The trajectory is weird. Let's hope that it docks on. Okay, it did. Now, we need to follow that scout. It's in the red. Oh no, that's bad news. That's the lair. How on earth are we supposed to get through the fish. Yeah, there is one right there. Can I pull them out? I mean, no. Oh, that's bad news. Oh, I'm completely out. That's interesting. We need the further away duplicate. Ooh. 
How on earth am I supposed to get there? Maybe I have to abort ship while they eat it? there it's not working <laughs> okay we know now what to do but we do not know how Feldspar said that he could outrun them but my ship is far too slow I mean, we can try to get there by foot, and with that I mean without the ship. But I still would make noise and I would be even slower. I think I'll need a ton of tries until I find out what to do, so I won't record them all. There will be a cap somewhere <laughs> and we will be just there. I have an idea. I will crash my ship so that all the fish will be eating or going to eat the ship. And then I will abort ship. So I power it as much as I can and then I will abort ship and use the momentum and go on my own. Okay, here we go. Abort ship! Here I am again, I have positioned my scout and we are following up on it. I did make it through the first red core, but I didn't hit recording. I'm just floating. I just floated through after I tried to distract them, which didn't work. And ah, these, are, these are the eggs. I'm not daring to use my boosters, but I think by now we should be good. I don't see a fish. Because, I mean, we don't have the time. Oh, look at that. That's... I think that's their eggs, right? Oh, there's a fish. Oh, gosh. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Please. We crash. I have to. Okay. They didn't hear me. Oh, we need to get in that core, okay. No! Let's get in there. We make it, we make it. Did it follow? No, it's gone. That worked. Oh my goodness, we done it. That was so freaky. Here it is. Oh, this is... This is crazy. <laughs> I just didn't dare to move at all. But look at that. And there is the escape pod. Oh wow. We done it. Let's park right here. That's my scout! I don't think we can get in here, right? That's just... Oh, we might be able to. There's a skeleton? I 
hope we can breathe in there. And I do hope we have enough time. Let's first... Okay. Let's not go there. <laughs> There's nothing. Okay. Whoa. Yes, there are trees. Okay, we are upside down though. No gravity crystals? That's no gravity crystal, is it? Oh, okay. You can turn something on. Can we start the ship? No, of course not. Oh, what's down here? That's the eye. That's the eye of the universe or a projection of it. Okay, there's something to read. Felix says, I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. Eskal says, this is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to walk immediately. Eskal, wait! I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we are going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. And we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the whoop instead. I understand. Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we are ready to warp. Oh gosh, and there they went. Ooh, it's a spiky. Okay. What? Well, let's start that bad boy if we can. I guess it goes. Th ah, wait. We can power this or we can power the other side. Let's first power this. That does exactly nothing. Okay. Whoop. Kid in there. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, this powers that. Or does it look on top? Okay. That's freaky. Oh, okay, I can bring it here. Ah, I see what you're doing. Oh no. Dang it. Okay. That's how we turn it around. Do we want that? Oh, it's powered. Okay. Uh, 
I don't know if that is a timed thing. But I think we have to power both sides. Oh, it's vanishing. Stay here. Huh. That doesn't do much. Oh. Let's read first, shall we? Wanna turn around? Whoop, roll. Eskel's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Oh, that's the SOS. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from inside itself. We, we are abandoning our vessel. Any nomadic clans or space flight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Uh oh. No one heard them. We don't have time for this. To any Nomai clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Blackrock's suns are fairly stable, and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kenna, we're making our way to you, says Bromi. Okay. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived. And he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskal. That is much, much later. And the vessel received it, but nobody could answer. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskel's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed, and their story was real, says Hesop. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hesop? It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for Eskel's clan for a long time. But in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. That is crazy. Hisai, I hope you aren't comparing Eskel's story to my clan's vessel. <laughs> Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. 
Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our walk. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved our clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby? Remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. So this is recent and the ship just caught it. Maybe because we powered it. And this is the old inscription from the Nomai that have landed here. So they did find a star system that is safe. Oh, that's crazy. How do we now power this, though? That's not doing anything. What is that even? Lamps or something? <gasps> it's the warp core! Oh goodness gracious. Oh man, not not now please. Okay. How do we warp? Okay. Let's put it back. <gasps> oh stop it. Huh. It's all powered, isn't it? Whoop core has been inserted. And we are running out of fuel. Soon we cannot move no more. That's doing nothing. I mean, it said it's broken. Let's try to get back to our ship, actually, as long as we can. And maybe we should explore on the outside, too. Oh, wait, where was that? The ship is up there. Oh, here. My ship's floating away. <laughs> okay. Maneuver in there. So maybe we, we could warp eventually. To that safe location. Oh, my frames. Wait, let's first, in case we need to get out, refill. Okay. Is there anything else we could do? That's most probably that middle part with the warp core. Or in which we inserted the warp core. Oh, that would be so cool if we could eventually warp, right? But where's the actual entrance to the ship? Maybe from... Wait. Now that's the warp core. D 
These are these escape pod looking things. So there were a lot that didn't launch. Right? This one launched. But there's no entrances. This one didn't launch. And that one launched. Yeah, that's the only way we can get in, it seems. Oh, wait. What is that part of the ship? Oh, that's the, the thing where we saw the projection. Anything else? Let's send a scout out there to see if there are like fragments. Not there. That we need to explore? No. I mean, we do know now how to get here. So, yeah, there's the music of doom. So, I think the best approach now would be to... Go to the Black Hole Forge and learn more about the warp cores. Maybe we then learn how to use that one. And then we we warp away. Into a safe space. Literally. I can even fly in here. No, I cannot. Let's force our way in there. No, we cannot. That would be pretty cool. Whoop. Wanted to use the last few minutes. Oh no, my ship's blocking the entrance. To see if there's anything else. But that seems to be it. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, there it comes. We just, yeah, we, we need to power something here, but it's broken. So maybe we cannot walk ever and we stay here and be in this loop forever and ever and ever. No safe haven for us, but that's fine. It's fine. It. I'm holding the warp core. <laughs> but yeah, that didn't do anything. Did we keep it? No, we didn't. Okay, man. Yeah, this will be a bit of a cut down episode because I tried so many times to get into that one leery bit and then I forgot to hit record. <laughs> and thus we didn't even, or you didn't even see how I floated by the terrifying fish. But I just floated in there in the end. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.